Hey neighbors, I want to welcome you to my newest listing at 1901 Harvard in Star Trail in the town of Prosper. If you've been trying to find a home in Prosper, you know how crazy it is. And right now, there's approximately 500 plus people waiting to build a new home. They're on waiting lists in here. And we've got a home available Thursday, March 25th. It's not available yet, but it will be on Thursday. And we're gonna have the home open both Saturday and Sunday for an open house. So come see me, but before then, let me give you a sneak peek. All right, right when we come in the home, you can see there's this beautiful balcony up there with this curved staircase, absolutely gorgeous. To the left is a private office, and it's got a really good view out the front. It's also got this frosted glass, so when you're in there and you shut the doors, in today's day and age of zooming all the time, you can have lots of privacy. Big dining room, right? Very pretty, very big and it goes right into the kitchen. So we're gonna go the back way. This is a smart home, and you've got lots of automation in here, even starting with the alarm system. A butler's pantry on the right, with some wine storage up above and cabinetry. Moving in here, you've got your utility room. And then you've got a pretty big pantry. It's a nice size, Plenty of storage for food. I'm gonna back up just a little bit because you got a mud bench with storage under it, coat hooks, storage above it. And I've gotten a lot of people telling me I'm not looking in the garages enough. So let's go look in the garage. So as you can see, it's a two car garage, but you've got a tandem back here. And if you look in the back, there's a door. Where does that lead? Well, I'll show you in a minute, but not now. Let's go. All right, let's get back inside the house and finish our tour of the kitchen. So we've got wood floors all over the place in the first floor, beautiful countertops, backsplash and cabinetry, got pulls on it. Going in here, we've got double ovens. You've got your microwave, gas cooktop, six burner, then a hood and all the cabinetry. Let me give you a slow pan around. Okay, neighbors, if you follow me on YouTube, you know the kitchen is the number one room in the house to upgrade, and it's also the number one room in the house that you are gonna spend the most time in. This kitchen really delivers. It is beautiful, and you really need to see it in person. It is large, it is an open concept floor plan, it is done in beautiful neutrals, but there's enough texture and enough interest so it's not boring, which is what can happen with a white, cream, gray, and black palette. Okay, here's the breakfast nook. It's right off the kitchen. You guys are sitting in the kitchen, you're looking at me in the breakfast nook. This beautiful little nook juts out into the backyard and right off of it is a big covered porch. You've also got this great built-in area. It makes a perfect buffet when you're entertaining. Put a lot of desserts over here. That's where I would be spending all my time, as you can tell. And you also have a lot of storage. So when you come look at the kitchen, also think about the functionality about living in this home. Don't overlook that. All right, neighbors, I'm gonna tell you where that door leads to that was in the garage that I kind of referenced. It leads to a private mother-in-law suite. There's a living area in here that doubles as a secondary media room. And then over on the other side, there's a private bedroom suite. You've got a bath with a tub and you've got a private bedroom that's in the backyard. Now, all the closets in here are really nice. They're what I call reach-in, but technically you can walk into that closet. 
They extended the wood floors in it. And I did want to show you exactly where that door is. This door right here is a private entrance to the garage. That is the coolest thing. I wish we had more homes that have that. All right, back out into the kitchen and see that's where that private suite pops out to, right? There's the catwalk up there, you can see it. And over here is this beautiful backyard. Look at the covered porch. It's got a gas tap right there, ready to go for your outdoor kitchen. All right, now then, let's head over to the master suite. But on the way, look where the conveniently located powder bath is. It is right here, right off the main entertaining area. So you've got all your friends and family over and they have a powder bath right here. They're not bothering anybody. They're not going to the bedrooms. Here's the master suite. And then here is the master bath. I think this is just a stunning master bath. Now, we're gonna talk a lot about this shower. You've got a rain shower head, full tile, a handheld shower, All right, check out this closet. So to all the ladies out there, natural light is so important so you can see what everything's gonna look like. You've got lots of storage, lots of hanging space, some shoe racks or some clothes racks if you wanna fold them up in there. Wonderful, and we brought in the wood floor in here as well. All right, back to the tour. All right, here we go upstairs. Let me give you a shot, just kind of what this is gonna look like. All right, let's go upstairs. You've got wood on the treads and you have painted wood on the risers. And of course this beautiful stained wrought iron railing all the way up. So let me give you a quick just panoramic up here. Just bear with me, I think it'll be worth it. You can see all the light, you can see downstairs, into the family room, secondary family room and the media room. You've got a bedroom back here, two more bedrooms back here, and the landing, of course. Okay, so coming off the stairs at the top of the landing, we take a right, we come into a big open concept family room. We happen to have two TV monitors up here. You could do a massive television on that wall. You could configure this as a study area, play area. You get it, you know how to do it. This is a very uh, non-formal media room. That's what this is designed for, but it could be a bonus room. Right now it's staged as an office. Our homeowners needed an office, they wanted it upstairs, and it makes a perfect office, especially for an executive. But you could also bring in and put in a pair of French doors very inexpensively and have a completely darkened media room with a set of doors and blackout curtains. You'd have to add the doors after you close, but that would definitely turn it into a formal media room. Let's go over to the first bedroom. So the nice thing you can see about this bedroom when you visit us is come to the open house. You can see how big it is in person. It's hard to show you on camera, but this is a really good sized bedroom. It's got an ensuite bath, really nicely appointed. 
And then the closet is right off the bat. That's great for young ladies who want to get dressed while they're doing their makeup, doing their hair. They want to look in the mirror, see how it looks. As a dad of daughters, I can attest it happens. Now, off the other side of the landing, we're gonna come into two more bedrooms. See, there's this door and this door, and in between them is the bathroom. So it's a Jack and Jill bath. So as we come in here, we've got a big, beautiful bedroom. The Jack and Jill bath goes through there, and the closet is over here with natural light in it, which is just awesome. You can see the window right there. Here's the bath. There's one sink. There is the important facilities. Ta-da! There is the tub, just so you can see. And then here's the other sink. And at the end of the bathroom for this bedroom, there is the closet with a window as well. And then we're gonna leave by going through this bedroom. Now let me give you a quick spin around the bedroom. Well, hey neighbors, it was such a beautiful day. I thought I'd take you and walk you around the outside. I wanted to show you what the side of the house looks like and what the park looks like across the street. You flew in across the park when we did the introduction. And as you can see, it really is a corner lot. It's got some good stonework here in the retaining wall. The lot is elevated, means the backyard's elevated. You have got a massive backyard, plenty of room to get a swimming pool in there. And let me spin you real, around real quick and show you the uh, park across the street. So as you can see, the park is right over there and the walking trails cut right through it. There's a playground right there. That's the park across the street. It's gonna be beautiful for kids that don't wanna be cooped up in the house. Um, nothing better than having a place where the kids can run across the street, kick the ball, fly a kite, chase the dog, meet their friends. This is a very special neighborhood. Most of our builders have over 200 people on their waiting list. They're getting about 10 lots per quarter, maybe every couple of months. And it's going to take forever to get an opportunity to build in here. So if you're wanting a quick move in, come see us this weekend. We've got an open house both Saturday and Sunday, and we'd love to meet you. All right. Thanks for taking a tour with me. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. You're more than welcome to reach out to any of the agents on our website at thelivingwellteam.com. They can schedule a private showing for you. And I hope God keeps and blesses you and causes his face to shine upon you and sends you out to see me this weekend. Bye.